guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new i am finally uploading my full room makeover video and i am so excited for you guys to see the whole process as well as the result this video took me a really long time because one it's not that easy to find good quality furniture here because we don't have a store like ikea or home goods where you can go and find everything that you need for a makeover in one place the second reason is because this is not just my bedroom this is also my creative space it is where i film my youtube videos and it is also where i work because i work from home so i had to consider all of that and it took me a while to figure it out but it is finally done and I am just happy that I can finally show you guys everything. So let's get started by taking a look at what my room looked like before this whole makeover process started. This is what my room looked like before starting the whole makeover process. You can see that the carpet didn't match the curtains and it just looked all over the place and very busy. I used a dresser as a table to paint on and I think I just wasn't utilizing all of the space properly. So before starting the process, I went through a lot of posts on Pinterest to see what kind of styles I liked and what I wanted in my room. And then I made this room mood board that I could use as a reference when I was decorating my room. So after I had some idea of what I wanted, I made a list of all of the things that I wanted to change and a list of things that I needed to add. And I also played around with different room layouts and decided on this one to make full utilization of the space I had. So now that I had a plan, I started preparing my room to start the makeover process. The first thing I needed to change was the color of the walls. I just didn't like the dark grey color and the moody vibe anymore. So I'm going for the color everyone goes for when they're making over a room. Yup, you guessed it right, it's white, surprise surprise. But I just think a white base would make it so much easier for me to decorate the room later. So I'm starting by filling up all the holes on my walls and now it was time to paint. so much brighter in here you can see that that wall needs another coat but one thing i did not do and it was a mistake was that i didn't tape the ceiling so it kind of got on the ceiling you can't really see because it is a shade of white but if you know where it is you can see it but yeah these two walls were the gray walls and you can clearly see the grayish tint that you cannot see on these walls because these were white before and on top that was grey too and you can still see it so I think two more coats today and then we will be done here's the final thing after painting this is what it looks like it, the room already looks so much brighter than before and so the next step is carpets. I have to call the guy to get here to install. Can you see how bad this carpet is? <laughs> that is what it was like. I think it was even more blue than that. And this is what it's like now. It's turned bluish gray. Finally, the carpets got here. And it's a little hard to close my door now, but this is what it looks like. And I just need to vacuum now because there's like these fluffy pieces everywhere. Oh, 
for the curtains, I custom ordered these to fit my windows perfectly and I went for this neutral beige color but it has a bit of a pinkish tint to it. It looks like a salmon color and I really like it because it is neutral but it also adds a slight hint of color to the room. of the room before I bring all of the furniture inside. It looks so much bigger and brighter than before and I love it so let's bring everything inside. I have wanted a ladder shelf like this for so long so I got this from an online store on Facebook. I will leave a link in the description if you are interested and I also got a full length mirror for the room that I love. It makes the room look even bigger and I also installed a floating shelf that I got from Daraz. I have more of these but I'm just installing one for now. Here is my room with all of the furniture. This is how the room layout is going to be. You can see on this side, I have all of this new furniture that I've added and this is going to be like my vanity area with the full length mirror and the vanity that's my bedside table and there's gonna be all decorations on that shelf. And on this side is going to be my um art desk where i'm going to film all of my painting videos and everything and on this corner this is going to be my work table or my gaming setup so yeah all that's left is to decorate the place of my plants that I've been keeping in my room. These are all real and they've been growing so well. And down here I have some fake plants which will also be going inside my room. I really 
love how my room turned out and it really reflects my own personal style as well now and it just feels really cozy. The layout that I decided for my room also helps me separate my creative space from my workspace from my bedroom space and I'm really happy with that as well. So here is the final reveal. so happy with the results even if it took me a really long time and i hope you guys love it as much as i do please do not forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the whole makeover process and let me know in the comments which part of my room you like the most and if you would like to see more makeover or similar content in the future as well i will also be posting a full detailed room tour very soon where i will show you a closer look at everything but that is it for this video please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!